This man started an enduring fashion empire, which he launched by making one of the world's most durable and popular clothing items, which is blue jeans. And that man was Levi Strauss. Originally named Leob, Levi Strauss was born into a large family on February 26, 1829 in Buttenheim, Bavaria, Germany. His father, Heirish, and his mother, Rebecca Haas Strauss, had two children together, and Heirish had five children from his first marriage, Matilda Baumann Strauss, who had died in 1822. Living in Bavaria, the Strausses had experienced religious discrimination because they were Jewish, and there were restrictions on where they could live and special taxes had placed on them because of their faith. When he was around at the age 16, Strauss has lost his father to tuberculosis. He and his mother and two sisters made their way to the United States. Two years later, upon their arrival, the family reunited Jonas and Louis Strauss, his two older brothers, in New York. Jonas and Louis had established a dry goods business there, and Levi went to work for them. The California Gold Rush of 1849 led many people to travel out west to seek their fortune. Strauss was no exception. In early 1853, he headed out to San Francisco to sell goods to the thriving mining trade. Strauss ran his own wholesale dry goods company, as well as acted as his brother's West Coast agent, using a series of different locations in the city over the years. He sold clothing, fabric, and other items to small shops in the region. As his business thrived, Strauss supported numerous religious and social causes. He helped to establish the first synagogue in San Francisco, Temple Emmanuel. Strauss also gave money to several charities, including special funds for orphans. A customer, Jacob Davis, wrote to Strauss in 1872, asking for his help. Davis, a tailor in Nevada, had brought cloth from Strauss from his own business, and developed a special way to make more durable pants. Davis used metal, metal rivets on the pockets and on the front fly seam to help the pants resist wear and tear, unable to cover the cost himself. Davis asked Strauss to pay the fee so that he could secure a patent for his unique design. The following year, the patent was Granted to Strauss and Davis believed that they were that there would be a great demand for these waist overalls as he called them But they are the best known today as blue jeans at first They were made with a heavy canvas and then the company switched to a denim fabric Which was dyed to blue to report reportedly to hide the stains According to some reports Strauss first had the plant the pants made by steam mattresses in their homes, and he later started his own factory to make the pants in the city. In any case, his tough and rugged jeans helped make, a, helped make Strauss a millionaire, and he expanded his business interest over the years, buying the Misson, the Misson and Pacific wooden mills in 1875. While he remained active in the company, Strauss began to give more responsibilities to his nephews, who worked for him. He continued to be generous to those in need, providing the funds for 28 scholarships at the University of California in 1897. Strauss died at the age of 73 on September 26, 1902, at his home in San Francisco. After his death, his nephew Jacob Stern took over as company as president. The legendary jeans he helped him create, known as Levi's, Eyes continued to grow in popularity, have remained at the fashion staple over the decades.
Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and take care.